Greetings, Millbrook families. This is news from around the district in a Millbrook Minute. First up, we have Mr. Seip from the high school. Thank you, Superintendent Hernandez. This week at the high school, we administered our middle of the year benchmark assessments in ELA and math. In athletics, our girls varsity basketball team travels to Spackenkill today. Our JV and varsity boys teams host Spackenkill today at 4.30 and 6 p.m. Next week, our mock trial team will compete in their first preliminary match on Monday at Our Lady of Lords High School. Good luck to all of our students and student athletes. Have a great weekend. Here's Mr. Cabello at the middle school. Here at the middle school, we also completed our middle of the year assessments uh, in IXL, along with some SRI testing in our ELA classes. Some uh, randomly selected students in the eighth grade also participated in our NAEP testing. A real big thank you to all of those students as that information goes to national uh, surveys and groups that are doing lots of research and education to make sure we're always providing the best for all our students across the country. Uh, with news from Elm Drive, we're gonna go to Ms. O'Connell. Thank you, Mr. Cabello. Another great week in Elm Drive. Our students have also now completed the middle of the year IXL assessments, which give us the data that we need to determine each student's personalized instruction. Uh, math coach Ms. Sobrin uh, attended Elm Drive three days this week to provide further instructional coaching for our teachers. And a big thank you to the parents that volunteered their time again this week to meet for planning Elm's tall small ball. Specific event details will go home to students next Tuesday. And please mark your calendars, though, for the ball will take place February 21st from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. at the high school. And have a great weekend. Now on to Ms. Chanowski with Pupil Personnel Services. Thank you, Mrs. O'Connell. Um, I had the opportunity this week um, on Thursday to attend the girls varsity basketball game against Ellenville. Um, and it was very exciting to watch our girls take on a victory and no wins that day. Um, one reminder from the PPS office is that we are starting our annual reviews for our middle school students um, next week. So we are looking very forward to those planning opportunities with the families of our special education students here at the middle school. Um, and then again, for our high school and elementary aged students, those will be coming in the next coming months. So be on the lookout for that information. As always, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact myself or my administrative assistant, Amanda Kessman at the PPS office. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend. And now on to Ms. Holdsborg with Student Services. Thank you, Mrs. Chanowski. Hi, Millbrook students, families, and staff. The Millbrook High School Counseling webpage has information on current opportunities for our students, including a Hudson Valley Construction Career Day, a Leadership Academy opportunity for juniors, and an ASBO scholarship opportunity for seniors. You will also find updates on the on Millbrook Public Library team programs on the Millbrook Middle School Counseling webpage. We update our news and announcements regularly, so please be sure to check for updates. Lastly, next week is National School Counselors Week, so if you see your counselors, please be sure to acknowledge them for their dedication and contributions to school counseling. Have a great weekend, everybody, and now on to Dr. Watkins and curriculum and instruction. Thank you, Ms. Holzborg. So this week, I had this special opportunity to visit a first grade class um, working in mathematics using their math vocabulary. Big shout out to our teachers, Dr. Soberin, as Ms. O'Connell mentioned, was visiting our math classes to see our learners in action and had huge accolades for our teachers for the extensive amount of planning that they do every day for our students. So we look forward to continuing that work as well. You'll see this week in the Blazer Bulletin, another article from the literacy specialist, Shelly Klein. So please take a moment to look into that. And now off to Mr. Garcia in business and personnel. Have a wonderful weekend. Thanks, Dr. Watkins. A uh, pretty busy time of the year for the business office. We are uh, fully entrenched in our budget planning for the 24-25 school year. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about the, the building blocks of our annual budget, we're going to be talking about it next Tuesday on our Board of Education meeting in public session. Uh, we'll be looking at uh, the first glance at our state aid and foundation aid projections 
and just kind of giving folks a little bit of an overview as to the process and how it works. So if you're interested in learning more about how we allocate funding for our educational programs, that would be a great opportunity. Uh, we're also going to touch on um, the upcoming capital project vote in May, uh, as, and a much deeper dive will be presented to the public in a number of public information sessions, the first of which is scheduled for uh, February uh, 13th. We're going to have a little booth set up at the Alden uh, Steam Fair. Um, so we'll have some artifacts, things for you to look at. We'll have a formal presentation uh, following that on uh, February 15th and February 20th. So more information to come. But if you want to save those dates uh, to keep in mind, there'll be plenty of opportunities to learn about all the wonderful things we're hoping to be able to do for our students in the future. On the personnel side, we're still looking for a music uh, vocal teacher for our secondary school. So if you know anybody that's certified in music education and would like to join the Millbrook team, please send them our way. They can apply through OLAS, olasjobs.org, or on our website that everything's linked to be found on that apply box on the homepage. So with that, we go back to Ms. Hernandez. Have a great weekend. Thank you, Mr. Garcia. So I first want to thank On Semi for visiting the high school today to discuss post-secondary opportunities related to the field of engineering. They will also be visiting the Millbrook Middle School this coming week. So thank you to On Semi. I also want to thank the MEF for two very generous grant donations. They are sponsoring or partially sponsoring the eighth grade field trip to Washington, D.C., and also gave us funds that will be used to buy additionally protective um, helmet equipment for our football team. So we are very conscious of the um, dangers related to concussions in the sport of football. So we are taking some extra precautions for our student athletes and we appreciate MEF's partnership in doing so. As always, we hope you have a fantastic weekend and we will see you again next week.